Ladies and gentlemen, hold tight to your plushies because it's time to get drop dead cute. Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thanks again for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls. I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel cutie glitters on your feed. Now let's dive into some more cutie reveal dolls today. Here we go. Each sold separately. With Barbie, you can be anything. So it is long overdue, and I really needed to get my hands on these Barbie Cutie Reveal Fantasy Series. Now, I already did a review on the teddy bear and the unicorn, of course. Which were totally my faves of the line. But I really think I'm gonna love these as well. It's time to review the llama and the sloth. Now, they're both pink and lavender slash purple-ish. They are super cute. They have fantasy colored hair. They have furry fuzzy suits. So their cuteness level is way up there. And I cannot wait to uncover it and, you know, squeal, squeak, and overuse the words of super cute, adorbs, adorable, oh my gosh. So, yeah. Sorry in advance if I'm like squeaking all the way through the end. But yeah, I cannot help that I really love these cutie reveal cutie dolls. I just completely melt whenever I pull them out of their tubes and... Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, let's take a look at these dolls and let's get them out of their tubes and just let our hearts melt with cuteness overload. <laughs> Okay, so first off, let's start with the llama. So from what I'm expecting is a standard Millie face with blue streaks in her hair and I think she's really pale also. Kind of wondering why a fantasy series would also include a sloth and a llama since they're just normal existing animals. Anyway, I'm not mad though because I really love these colorful girls. And yeah, okay, shutting up now. The llama. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Plop. I always enjoy this moment so much. You guys know that by now, right? So I'm really trying to fully enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that head. <laughs> oh. Okay, I did not think, I did not expect that I lo would love this girl so much. It is so freaking pink. For some reason, she even feels pinker than the um, bunny for some reason. But she is adorbs. And this is so fuzzy. Okay, so she has the same kind of like hooves that the unicorn doll had. So that's really like a new kind of mold. 
um, that they kind of reused a couple of times now. Also on the deer that I also did a review on. It's so fun that they're also immediately poseable. Okay. Now on to the head. Here we go, here we go. The drum roll is needed, of course. Here we go. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Okay, so she has indeed the Millie face and really strong, striking makeup. The hair is not the usual kind of like blonde, seren-ish or nylon hair. It is that same old, same old fantasy colored horrible hair. Yeah, even when it's usually when they use the blonde hair, it doesn't have that texture, but this is like really like... I almost want to say like Goldilocks blonde or for some reason with the blue streaks, it gives me um, Goldilocks or what's her name from Ever After High. But as I've proven before, it is manageable and it is doable so we can work with this. We are gonna make it work. Again. So let's check out what she comes with. The flyer with all of the girls on it. Oh, the cute comb in the form of a little cloud. So this is her cute little headband with her llama ears. And these are the extra pair of shoes that she comes with. Just, you know, your average horrible flat sandals. I really hate these super flat shoes. I can't, I just cannot deal. No. It's, ah, this is her skirt. Yeah, just glittery, plasticky fashion. Cute, cute. Um, period. Oh, look at the little llama. These tiny, yeah. She totally looks like a birthday cake and I really love it. Loving the furry llama suit and not really living for her second look or reversed look. So I'd rather just keep her as a llama, I think. <laughs> I am curious to see if I can make something really cute out of her. So we're not gonna give up on her yet. Let's head on over to the slop girl. Maybe she's more promising. <clears throat> oh, I can already melt out of cuteness overload. Okay, here we go. Oh, no way, this head is so derpy and so adorable. Look at this little guy. Oh gosh. The suit is kind of like tie-dyed, furry-ish. And these sloth feet are so huge and fun. And these sloth arms, they have a heart imprint. Look, like he's about to beam a light of shining hearts. <laughs> okay, but we want to see her face, of course. So it's time for the reveal. Drum rolls, giving you the right feels. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, mine is really wonky. Oh man, I always, well, I've, I've been lucky quite some time, so it, it was bound to happen at some point. One of her eyes is way more little than the other and she's totally wonking it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is such a shame. Her hair, same. Oh, I was hoping her hair would be different, but no. Her hair is the same kind of awful mess. <sighs> I really have to process this wonky face, you guys. Give me a minute. <sighs> That's... That sucks really bad because I really wanted to give her a super adorable look because I've seen other screenings of other people that had her, which really made some awesome dolls out of her. So yeah, Ooh. let's see what she comes with. Maybe that will brighten up my mood a little bit. These are, again, some sandal flat shoes. Not improving my mood with this. A very cute headband, by the way, because she doesn't really have like standing ears. They gave her this uh, tropical flower headband, which is a cute idea. Cloud-shaped comb. 
her skirt is actually a pretty nice fabric and I am living for this color. You know, I am obsessed with seafoam green, so I really like this skirt. And of course, her little friend, the mini sloth. Now this one is really adorable. He is so cute, you guys. And I love them with their eyes closed. I know they can open their eyes with like hot water or cold water, but I really like them like this. Still need to process. Ah. Gotta admit though, this time her second look does actually really look cute. So the inside of her furry jacket has this tropical flower theme on it. And it's giving me life, seriously. It's really fun. And it's a beautiful, you know, sea foamish green color to match with this skirt who i really love and the shoes are yeah well nah. i'm gonna make it work to give her a cute look and to not see the <laughs> and to not be uh distracted by the wonkiness too much and made to move body options wise She's really light and really, she has kind of like a really light and pink tone in her skin. So actually her only match is the uh, Barbie Looks Petite Girl, which is her. So if you wanted to give her a made to move body, go for her because she has the exact paleness. Um, I think this girl is your best match. Uh, probably every, you know, kind of like tanned girl is a good match for her also the bmr diva girl i think and the uh soccer made to move yeah that's your go for this girl and this a little wonkiness is not gonna destroy my magic so you know we're just gonna make it work we're gonna head off to the salon and give these girls a cute look for my collection here we go
This was my take on the final two dolls in the Cutie Reveal Fantasy series, the Sloth and the Llama Girl. Now, I really have to say that I, I'm really glad with how they turned out. I was really worried with the Sloth Girl and it kind of, 
I kind of postponed the whole making over moment because I was so bummed out about this whole wonkiness situation. But in the end, I thought, you know what? I just got to make the best of it and show you guys how to deal with kind of like a wonky, slight wonky situation. So that's why I chose to put her hair, you know, a bit to the front and distract from the whole wonky situation. I was really going for kind of like a whole back to school vibe. So I really hope you guys picked up on that. What's also really fun and super nice is that the petite body actually that Millie has here can fit a lot of the Rainbow High closet. Gotta say in the end, super adorable. Her hair in terms of fantasy hair colors that Mattel uses, because it definitely is, uh, I still can't pronounce that word, but it's that horrible quality hair. It is definitely manageable and able to put in a cute hairstyle. For the sloth girl, I gotta say, yeah not so lucky because her hair is really tough. I have to say, I really had to put my best on this girl. You really have to position it in one hairstyle, probably use a little bit of gel to keep it in place and leave it at that. It's definitely not a hair play doll. Really. But she's really not my fave of the line. It's still the unicorn and the teddy bear. Of course, I'm happy to finally add these cuties to my complete cutie reveal set and it's really annoying because you know you can't check these girls in the store on wonkiness because you just buy the package and whatever you're gonna reveal is not able to be checked in store so yeah a wonkiness situation might happen and i have been very lucky to this point actually for not having two bad screenings on my dolls. So let me know what you guys think of their looks, of course. Did you also experience some wonkiness on your cutie reveal dolls? Are you gonna get these? You know, all the feels that you have about these dolls. Let me know down in the comments and let's have a little chat about them. Not as drop dead cute as I wanted it to be, I think, but still content with how they turned out to add them to my pastel cutie collection okay guys so that's it for today thank you all so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified about any new videos that i upload you can also follow me on instagram at barbie nation that's usually where i post all of my updates and until the next video mwah, big kisses from me and i love you all